it's Suzanne from The Painted Drawer and today I'm going to show you how to apply wax over chalk paint to seal your finish. And in particular today I am working on my dining room chair. I already applied two coats of old white Annie Sloan chalk paint. I then distressed it back and showed you how uh, to do this to show off its details in my last video which was how to distress chalk paint. And today I'm going to show you how to take clear and dark wax both Annie Sloan products and basically seal the paint and it will create a beautiful hand rubbed finish. There are two ways to apply the wax. You can either use a brush or in my case I take old t-shirts and just cut them up into strips, wrap them around my hand and use that to apply the wax. So I just take my Annie Sloan clear wax, I just dipped it into the pot lightly apply some onto my rag. I'm going to gently apply it onto my paint, just like so. Wipe and apply. And you really don't need a lot of the product. Uh, you don't want to goop it on because if you do, it won't dry. So after you've applied the wax, the clear wax, I'm just going to do this section to show you. I'm just going to wipe it, get it right into the grooves of any detail work on the piece. Now for the dark, it's a little trickier, so I take my same rag, or you can use a different one, just very, very lightly dab the tiniest bit of the dark onto your rag and apply it over the clear, like so, and I go back, wrap my rag around, take my clear wax, like so, and go over the dark to rub it into the finish. And for the back of the chair, so basically dab on the clear, wipe it over like so, and then you're going to take your dark wax. Lightly dab, lightly apply, back to the clear, and there you have it. Kind of an old world, nice dark, not too dark, but it definitely gives the paint character as compared to the original white finish, which you can see the difference between the part I've already waxed and the original white paint. Um, it's quite a difference. I hope this has helped. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can find me at www.thepaintedrawer.com.